today's hair tutorial I'm super excited for this I've been wanting to do this for a really really long time so I hope you guys enjoy it this is definitely like my go-to hairstyle I absolutely love the products the, the Edia cosmetics for hair um, I've tried especially having short hair I've tried tons of like waxes and molding serums and a whole bunch of just other stuff and this by far is just my favorite to achieve this look and it's actually inspired by um, one of their hair tutorials that they have on their website so <laughs> I'll be sure to leave the link to the products down below so be sure to check it out and as you can see like I have wax in my hair and you can't even tell because it's so like soft and it moves and it just it feels great I'm gonna stop babbling and go ahead and get the video started thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy I'm gonna start off by taking my liquid light from Edia Cosmetics for Hair. I love this stuff. You can apply it to damp hair or wet hair. I like to apply it throughout the shaft of my hair once my hair is almost dry, just so my hair can really absorb the product. This makes my hair super manageable and super soft. Then I blow dry my hair. And that serum is really great because it doesn't weigh the hair down. I am then going to brush my hair out so there's no tangles so we can get started on the fun part. Next I'm going in with my beloved Idea Cosmetics for Hair Serene Moisturizing Paste. I love this stuff and it's packaged like in a compact similar to what makeup would be, cosmetics. And I'm just going to pick up some of this moisturizing paste on my fingertips. And I'm going to rub that into my fingertips and I'm just going to grab my hair and just basically scrunching this throughout the hair because you don't want a big glob of this in just one spot. So I just kind of grab and scrunch it throughout. And this makes your hair super, super soft yet you can still mold it and shape it and sculpt it. Then I'm going to section my hair off like so. You can part your hair wherever you like your part. This is where I like mine. And then I'm going to pin the middle section and we're going to start curling. I'm using my Bellamy 4-in-1 curling wand. I have a coupon code down below. And I'm just going to start grabbing pieces of my hair, not too big, not too small, and I'm going to curl away from my face. All of these pieces that you are going to curl are going to be away from your face and I'm just going to do that on this whole side of my head. If you are using this curling wand, it does get super, super hot so be very, very careful. And even for those shorter pieces, because my hair is still pretty short in some places, uh, like underneath here, I go ahead and curl anyway because it creates volume. So on this side of my hair, I actually had an undercut, so this side was super short. It was almost like buzzed down. So I'm not going to be waving this. I'm just going to tease it, and then I'm going to be using Edia Cosmetics for Hair Life Molding Wax. Love this stuff. I just get some on my fingertips, and I rub it into my teased section. You're not even going to see this side of your hair anyway because, like I said, the middle section is going to be laying on this but I like to create volume because it lifts the hair and makes the middle section poof out more. Next I am going to take that middle section, tease each section and I am going to get my curling wand and I am going to curl away from the face and you're just going to curl all these pieces back and I'm taking medium sized pieces. I burnt myself a lot so if you're using this wear a glove. 
All right, now that this side has cooled down, I'm going back in with Adia Cosmetics for Hair Life Molding Wax, and I'm just going to scrunch this throughout the hair, and I'm also going to be taking pieces and kind of just twisting them, sculpting these loose waves. And I'm going to pick up more of that Life Mold Wax, and I am going to get out my fingertips, rub it in, and I'm just going to rub this through all those waves we just created. And this is going to give a PC look, but you can like shake it out. I like to run my fingers down in the direction, um, down. <laughs> and then I just sculpt each piece. If you feel like you need uh, more wave, then you just go back in with the wand and curl each little piece that you think needs a little love. I personally like when I have some straight pieces because it just gives it more of that messy beachy type of hair. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I do to achieve this. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. Peace guys.